Just as there's love languages, what Gary Chapman so beautifully explained, I believe that there are fight languages. And what I mean by that is there are fight responses or languages that you naturally have. So for example, my wife's fight language is she likes to be quiet, reflect, and think and not talk about things until she processes. My fight language is totally the opposite. I want to figure it out right now. I want to open up. I want to extrapolate. I want to break it down. Guess what? In the beginning of our relationship, that really didn't work because she was quiet. And I was like, why are you quiet? Why are you not telling me what's going on? Have I done something wrong? And I'd be forcing her to share it. And then she would share prematurely and feel like she said something she didn't mean now. And now I'm upset at what I forced her to share with me. Uh huh. And so we really had to learn each other's fight languages. And I've learned that her fight language is better than mine. And so now the approach is she needs space. I need space. And we come back together and discuss it when we're both ready. And it sounds basic, but so many relationship issues occur because people's fight languages don't match.